Hello, welcome to clubrackets.com. My name's Ian. Today we're going to be talking about Yonix badminton rackets. They're some of the most popular badminton rackets in the world and they have such a huge range of rackets on the market that it's become a bit confusing for some of our customers to find which racket is right for them. Which do they buy? Do they buy a pro? Do they buy a tour? Do they buy a game? Do they buy a play? What's the difference between an Astrox, an Arc Saber or an Anu Flare? So we're going to hopefully give you some idea of what the differences in the range are and help you choose the right one for you. It's going to be a long video. There's a lot to talk about. Uh, if you want to go to a particular section of the video, then go into the description and you'll be able to find uh, times for each part. But strap in and enjoy and we hope it gives you some useful information. So the first choice you're going to have to make when you are choosing your Yonix badminton racket is whether you're going to go for an Astrox, an Arc Saber or a Nano Flare racket. The Astroxes are head heavy, the Arc Sabers are even balanced and the Nano Flares are head light. And within each range there is a range of weights and balances and stiffnesses uh, to give something for everybody. So starting off with the Astroxes, they are head heavy. And what that means is that more of the weight is up in this part of the racket than is down in the handle. So when you swing an Astrox, you get a very nice feeling of where the head is, but perhaps a slower swing because it takes a bit more effort to get a head heavy racket through. If your game involves doing mostly this, smashing from the back of the court and a lot of power play, then perhaps the Astroxes are the ones to go for you. Next up in the middle, we have the Arc Sabres. And these are even balance rackets. They're a great all-rounder. And if your game involves doing a lot of this, or just generally a bit of everything around the court, then the Arc Sabres are a great one to go for. They are very well balanced, so they can defend, they can attack, they can drive, they can do a bit of everything. They're perhaps not as powerful as the Astrox rackets or as quick as the Nano Flare rackets, but you get an even middle racket. Last up are the Nano Flares. The Nano Flares are headlight and they've got a slim sort of frame so they can go through the air quickly. So if your game involves a lot of speed around the net or in the mid court and a lot of kills uh, or you're a very defensive player, maybe the nano flares are the one to go for for you. Right, so in the last couple of years, we've seen the introduction into the Yonix range of pro rackets, tour rackets, game rackets and play rackets. And as you can see, they all look pretty much the same. So why would you go for a pro racket over a play racket or a tour racket over a game racket? Well, it's basically about the level you play at and your ability at the game. Um, Power is generated in badminton by how fast you can swing the racket. So top players like a stiff racket that bends with their fast swing and generates power. Whereas beginner and intermediate players will be helped out by a little bit more flex in the racket to give them that extra power that they perhaps lack in their swing. But what are the differences and which one should you go for? So the most desirable rackets are always the pro rackets. They're made in Yonix's factory in Japan. The quality control is excellent. The materials are fantastic 
and the technology contained within the rackets is great. Um, but the flip side is that they can be pretty damn expensive and they're not necessarily good for everyone of every standard. You have to have a certain level to get the best out of these rackets. There's no point a beginner playing with one of these. They'd be much better off with a lower end racket. Going down the scale from the Pro, you get the tall rackets. And as you can see, it looks pretty much exactly the same. It just says tall on it. And it has a lot of the same features as the Pro. Uh, they tend to come strung, they're made in Taiwan, and made in a factory, a different factory, and they've just got a little bit more flex than the Pro Rackets. Then you go down to a game racket, such as this, there isn't a game for the Arcsaber 7, um, and they again are more of an intermediate kind of level, they've got even more flex, they are also made in Taiwan. And then, uh, sitting at the bottom end of the range, you've got the play okay and the play is a lot more flexible it's ideal for beginner starter intermediate players and the benefit of the play is that it's much easier to play with hence the name and much cheaper so uh, just to give you an example the arc saber 7 play is around the 40 quid mark and the arc saber 7 pro is around the 160 quid mark so you can buy four of these rackets for one of these so it's all about knowing your level and knowing which one you think will suit your swing. Of course, Yonix don't make it easy, so there's not all four rackets in all four ranges, so you don't get a Pro Tour game and play in each racket, especially not in the UK. Uh, there's no game in the Arcsaber 7 Pro, um, and other ones are missing out. So chat to your retailer and see which one they've got in stock. First we'll have a look at the Astrox 100ZZ which I guess you could call the flagship racket in the Onyx range. Uh, used by Victor Axelson um, it comes in a number of different variations so we've got the dark navy here which is was the original colour scheme and then you've got the Kurenai red which is a newer colour scheme, both really nice. The 100ZZ is a kind of powerful attacking racket, um, liked a lot by singles players, powerful players. Uh, it's quite stiff, it's got a smaller head and it's quite quick through the air. The 100ZZ, as well as being in two colours, comes in 3U or 4U, lighter or heavier, um, and so you can take your pick. Lower down the range, we've got the 100 Tor, um, which is the normal size head and just a little bit more flexibility comes in the Kurenai Red and the 100 Game which is a really good seller here a um, little bit cheaper again normal size head and just a bit more flexibility than the Tor. Next on the list we have the Astrox 99s these are kind of the, the Kento Momota range uh, the, you've got the 99 Pro uh, which comes in White Tiger or Cherry Sunburst, uh, both nice colours. They are a little bit more, well they're quite a lot more head heavy than the 100ZZ. You, know, you can check out our review of these on our channel. Um, they're very good for sort of lifting, clearing, controlling the rallies, um, quite stiff. Again, the two colours come in 3U or 4U. Um, the 3U is an absolute heavy beast. I think the 4U is good enough, is heavy enough for most people. And then, of course, you've got the games and the plays um, going down the range as well. So now we've got the Astrox 88 rackets. So we'll start off with the Pros. And these were launched for Kevin Sanjaya and Marcus Gideon and uh, from Indonesia the top doubles pair at the time the 88d pro is a nice big hitting racket for doubles players you want to smash from the back of the court the 88s pro is a bit quicker it's a little bit less head heavy it's good for sort of front and mid court but it's a decent racket in its own right um 
both very popular. We haven't got any AT8Ds left at the moment, AD Pros left at the moment because well, they've all sold out. Um, then you've got the games of each one, the S game and the D game, and then the plays of each one as well. So plays being nice and flexible, um, sort of beginner intermediate. And look what we've got here, a last minute addition to the video, the Astrox 77s that have just arrived. We've got the Astrox 77 Pro uh, in its orange and the Astrox 77 Play. Um, again, there is a tour in the middle, but we didn't go for any stock of that. We've only got a couple of the Pros so far and they're going to be hard to get hold of for a while. I uh, haven't had a chance to try it yet, so watch out for a review coming on this channel very soon. And just the last few of the Astroxes to show you. Uh, we've got the 22LT, um, which is a ridiculously light 63 gram racket. Uh, we've got the Astrox 6, that is a sort of mid-range for you uh, racket. And the Astrox 2, which is a 5U uh, lighter Astrox that sits down towards the bottom of the range, but it's a, a great customer favourite in the shop. The Even Balance series of rackets, the Arc Sabres from Yonix, have recently had a bit of a refresh, turning them into the, the Pro frames. I'm a big Arc Sabre fan myself. Um, played with them for a long time. I love the versatility of the rackets. The first frames to come out were the Arc Sabre 11 Pro. Uh, it came out in a 3U first and we've now got a 4U version as well and they look really cool in the red and the steel um, and you've also got the Tor which we don't have and the play and then we saw earlier in the video the Arc Sabre 7s um, these are fairly recent to come out. A bit more flexible than the Arc Saber 11s, um, just in a 4U for the Pro, so it's nice and light, um, really quick on the defence, um, and very, very easy to use for a Japanese racket. Um, so an ideal choice for quite a lot of doubles players, I think, the 7 Pro. The more I look at the Arc Saber range, the more I like the cosmetics. They're really especially that yellow on the Arc Saber 7. And last but no means least we have the Nano Flare series from Yonix. Uh, we'll start off at the top uh, with the Nano Flare 800. Um, a great looking racket this one, having to use a demo racket since we're short of stock for this. Um, it's quite stiff, uh, it comes in a 3U or a 4U or there's the 800LT which is even more difficult to get hold of, which is in a 5U. Uh, that's the top of the range. Then you've got the 700, which comes in a 4U or a 5U. That's a bit more defensive and easygoing to play with. Um, we've got the Nanoflare 555, uh, which sat on the shelf for a long time because nobody noticed it, but now they're all disappearing very quickly. And we're down to our last one. A lovely coloration on that one. It's sort of the top of the... Taiwanese rackets. Then we've got the other ones. We've got the Nanoflare 370, uh, 270 and 170. Out of stock of those, um, but they'll be back in soon. Subtle variations in them as they go down the price point. You can learn more about those on our website. And then you've got the sort of base models, the Nanoflare Clear, which is great value, always been a good seller in the shop. And the Nanoflare 100 which comes in the pink and yellow and the blue and yellow and that's a, a beginner racket um, with a, a steel head but pretty cheap and great for getting started in the game so the nano flares if you want headlight speed quick around the court um, good kills good defense um, you might want to consider them for you Okay, so I hope that gives everyone a little bit more idea about Yonix Badminton Rackets. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments. We'll do our best to answer them for you. Uh, there'll be more reviews along soon, like the Astrox 77. Uh, and if you need any rackets, please go to our website or come and have a look around the store if you can.